Hey guys, Ben Place here. Welcome to episode 8, is it, at this point? What did I say last time? Mm. Did I say 7 last time? 7. Okay. Yeah. Then 8 follows 7. Welcome to episode 8 of the Great Ace Attorney. We're jumping right back in. <clears throat> Ugh, he's still miles away, probably thinking about that bottle being smashed. As you've said a number of times now, you strive for perfection in your investigations, don't you? Absolutely. I wonder, therefore, if perhaps you took anything else from the scene of the crime. Like, for instance, the plate of steak that you took to the victim's table that day? Objection! Wait a minute! Where are you going with it? Where are you going with this, little boy? <laughs> it's just a memory that's been troubling me. What memory? I saw the scene shown in this photographic print with my own eyes that day. And I saw that on the wooden base of the plate that the steak was served on... ...was a spattering of blood. What? Oh, really? And what of it? Obviously, that must have happened when you shot the professor. No, that can't be the case. Take a good look. Look at this photograph! I think that counts. And the relative position okay. of everything there. The plate of steak is almost directly behind the victim. If I'm supposed to have shot Dr. Wilson in the chest from the front, there's no way that the blood from the victim could have ended up directly behind him. Ah! Hmm, yes. For blood to have made onto the plate, it implies the plate was between the victim and the shooter. Which means the shooter must have been sitting the opposite of the professor, as you were. Giselle Brett. I completely misread how that was supposed to be phrased. Oops. I beg your pardon? Objection! This, this is beyond ridiculous! Fabricated nonsense! <clears throat> is the court seriously expected to believe something the accused has apparently just remembered seeing? Hold it! You're always letting that shit into prosecutorial evidence! Even Hosonaga gets a <clears throat> hold it line. This, oh, this is a uh, first. This, this could be the moment my entire career in the police force has been leading to. Inspector, you mean... Yes, I took the plate in the interest of preserving evidence from the scene of the crime. I took it, meat and all, and I don't care to call me a crime scene thief because of it. I don't okay. think we've seen her take out an actual, uh, handkerchief before. You oh. did what? That's what you were referring to. I took the steak you'd been eating, Miss Brett. I took the steak the sergeant had been eating. And I did it all in the name of justice! Here comes justice! Then we can find out for sure whether or not there's a bloodstain on Miss Brett's plate. We must examine it now! Hmm. Inspector! The court wishes to examine the plate from the victim's table immediately. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Oh, I thought that was the bailiff. Oh, maybe it was. Sorry for the delay. Here is what you ordered. The steak. Yes. Well, what about the blood? Is there blood on it? Of course there isn't! Quickly, Inspector! The blood man! Show the court! I am curious! Of course. Examine the plate at your leisure. There isn't any. 
She obviously swapped, swapped the freaking plates. No, no blood. No blood anywhere. But, but no, that's... IMPOSSIBLE! I know I saw it, I'm sure of it. It was right there on the table behind the professor. There was blood on the side of the plate. <laughs> what an unbecoming expression, little boy. You see, this is why I always say you can trust what the Japanese tell you. Ah! I couldn't agree more! In the case of this disgrace to the Empire! I believe we may finally have reached a conclusion in this trial, Pilgrim. Rinosuke. Let's hope so. This let's pretend attempt at courtroom proceedings is painful to watch. But I do promise to do my best to forget all about it when it's over. Ha! This sorry looking steak reveals the facts all too clearly. If the sorry looking accused wishes to examine it again, be my guest. <laughs> Was the plate I saw or thought I saw just a figment of my imagination? Okay, well. Unless she wiped it up and put it under the meat. Or something. Um, aren't the bite patterns different? Oh, oh! what is that? What? Huh? What I'll the? You, what in the world is this? I know that shape. I think it's a Koban coin, and the hallmark is from the Hoei era, I believe. No, no, I don't mean what is it. I mean, what's it doing there? As an imperative. Wait, did you say it was a Hoei Koban? Yes, and apart from the meat juices, it looks like it's in very good shape. I imagine it's very valuable. Hmm. This isn't the first time today that there's been talk of a Hoei Koban. That was like, for us, that was a week ago. <laughs> I've heard of pearls before swine, but I've never heard of bullion and bullion. Nice. <laughs> and I don't think you ever will again. <laughs> this is extraordinary, okay. though. This means... I certainly never expected to find a precious coin underneath this thick cut of meat. Y'all are making me hungry! And it's from the Hoei era, too. That would make it really quite valuable. It's well marinated in, ju in the juices as well, look. God, they really are making me hungry. What, are you thinking of eating it? No, no, but the next time I order a steak in an expensive restaurant, one thing's for sure. My heart's going to be racing as I lift up the meat and peer underneath for a prize. I think you might have the wrong end of the stick about this for you, Nosuke. Why can't I stop laughing? <laughs> A Koban. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that was, in that was completely in character. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. This is it now. I've lost. Ryu Nosuke. It's not over yet. Not until the fat lady sings. Huh? Never stop believing yourself. Hold on to that feeling. Keep looking forward no matter what. Believe in myself? Really? Hmm, maybe I should at least examine the evidence for myself. Already did that. As the evidence requested by the defense has not been shown to be problematic in any way. I presume any further examination of evidence will be unnecessary. Does the defense have any objections? Yes. That blood stain Several. is going to clinch the trial for me. Can this plate of steak reveal any other clues at all? Yeah, there's a big one right under the steak. 
Your Excellency, please wait. This plate of beef is hiding another clue. Another clue that will reveal the shocking. I wouldn't go that far, Ryunosuke. I still have no idea how this has to do anything to do with the case. Attention! Like I said, I reckon she might have switched the plates. The only thing that's shocking here is your unhealthy fascination with beef steak. The only thing that's shocking here is your hair. Your <laughs> Excellency, I think I've made myself clear, haven't I? I will not be able to turn a blind eye to any more unnecessary procrastination in this trial. Nope. I'm sorry, Miss Brett, but we must ensure a thorough examination of the evidence. I will not give a ruling until I'm completely satisfied all reasonable doubt has been dispelled. And I'm still not out of booze. I see. As a newly affirmed ally of my country, that's still your position, isn't it? Thank you, Your Excellency. Cancel for the defense. You will now clearly show the court you're alluding to. <clears throat> Where precisely under the evidence? Basically, uh, I need you to pixel hunt for me. I, I think it's a Koban coin. Uh, we don't need to read from... this. Yeah, you're right. Stuff we already did, stuff we already did. We jumped the gun. And now I'm hungry for some steak. <laughs> so hungry, I might drive 2,000 miles for it again. Good Goodness gracious, great balls of fire, Jehoshaphat, that's... Uh, a Koban? It looks all blooded. Who murdered the poor Meowth? Ah, a Huawei era wanted that. Miss Brett. This is in fact the beef steak that you ordered out at the restaurant on the day in question, is it? Tell me. Why is there an old coin seemingly hidden underneath the meat? What a ridiculous question! How should I know? God, she reminds me of a raid boss from Final Fantasy I've never seen that thing before in my life! I don't know what this is, but I want no part of it! Attention! I fail to see how this is relevant. A coin under the meat? That could simply have been a careless mistake by the chief in a moment of distraction. Objection! No. No. Chef. There's no I in Chef. Don't be absurd. We're supposed to believe that this happened by accident in the kitchen? Who do you think runs this place? The Pawn Stars? A rare Hoei Koban just happens to be hidden in underneath that piece of steak. What'd you say, Golden? I'm pretty sure that said Chef, not Chief. Oh. <laughs> if this turns out to be irrelevant to the case, I'll rip up my ticket to Great Britain right now. <laughs> no, no, Sir, that's you better not, not be thinking. See, it said chef. Oh my god, I just misread it. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, and then I made a joke out of it. <laughs> He's right, it can't be a coincidence. <laughs> Your Excellency. Yes, Council. A rare Hoei Koban just appears, just happens to be hidden underneath that piece of steak. <laughs> if this turns out to be irrelevant to the case, I'll give up my lawyer job right now. Wait. Objection! By all means, don't let us stop you. No one invited you anyway. Well, that's it. Game over. No, I'm kidding. Perhaps, little boy, you should realize that it is you who is irrelevant. 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 <laughs> Irrelevant. Oh. Even though I'm the one on trial. You know what? You flubbing that line actually kind of fits because, like, it, she could be She's getting nervous. flustered. <laughs> The point is, it's essential that we ask the owner of this coin if he can explain what it's doing under that stake. The owner? Why is this trial so long? Don't tell me there's a fourth to be kid. How freaking long is this trial? There's only one person it can belong to. The owner of the Koban that was found underneath the beef stake is... The owner Curio. of Rasute. Yeah. 
Curio Korekuta. Take that! Curio Collector. Obviously, can only oh, be boy. the antiques dealer and the owner of Rasute, Curio Kor Korekuta san. You know the. as in. Mr. Cucumber something? Honestly, these ridiculous Japanese names are quite unfathomable. Ah, uh, yes. The old man who testified earlier alongside the military sergeant, correct? Yes, Your Excellency. I remember him saying he was up to something with the Koban coin when it happened. At exactly the moment the gun was fired. <laughs> the gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. <laughs> Indeed, the Hoa era Koban, my prized coin. And my bromide of the Empress. Then this air, whole air of Koban. Do, do you mean to tell me? Objection! No, no, no. Please, why would Kurakuta san's Koban be sandwiched between the victim's beef steak and its plate? It makes no sense. Yes! This is delicious! Which is why I'm asking to bring Kurakuta san back to the witness stand so we can ask him. Officer! Bring both witnesses that testified earlier back here, and also refill my bottle without a moment's delay. Man, I, I want to pick it over that over. glass decanter. Yeah, that's funny. I can't believe we've come back around to that pair again. But I have a hunch, a strong hunch, that if we chase down the real significance of this Koban, we'll find that it's a key element. No! I want to go to bed. I swear to balls. I want to ah, go to bed, balls, game. Balls. Oh. Here, will you guys come over here and just finish this game for me? What's this all about? Yeah. Why have I been called up again? If you want to pay for the Motel 6, sure. Didn't Don't you realize that it's dinner time for the little baby Ido? When my son's belly is empty, he's fiercer than a pack of wolves. Uh, where am I? Uh, exploded by the police we were. Like miserable dogs, forced to bear false witnesses. Hey! I said whips only in the courtroom! And when cast from this courtroom, myself, I became a ruined man in a trice. A worthless, withered antique. Like half the damn things they sell on Pawn Stars. Nothing more I have to say. Who the sun is set on this Rasute shop owner's existence. <laughs> Be that as it may, Collector Son, something has come to light that requires your clarification. As far as your Rasute memory serves, have you brought. That's, yes, yes, that's it, the one, the very one, the very oh. exact one that is it, the, the, what? Oh, good lord. <laughs> well, you're screwed, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, antibiotics. The resplendent, splendiferous hallway treasure that my rusty bones managed to misplace on that fateful day. It can't be. generous foot. Hmm, as I thought. Young man! Whippersnapper! It lined this decrepit old fool, put me out of my misery! Where? Where was my treasure? Where was it dropped? Oh, um, I'm not sure if it was dropped anywhere. We found your coin sandwiched between a beefsteak and its plate, soaking in the seasoned meat's juices. The sandwich? Soaking? Seriously? <coughs> <coughs> Clearly, it couldn't have fallen there by accident. 
Which means... Somebody must have hidden it there on purpose. Another cross-examination is coming up, isn't it? Cripes. Yep. Somebody can shield my Hoei treasure between a slab of meat and a metal plate? Who would do such a thing? Such an unconscionable thing! Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 Pilgrim. <laughs> Excuse me. Could I say something? Technically, you could. Yes, of course. Proceed, Inspector Hosanaga. Dot, dot, dot. I've taken the liberty of adding dots. I mentioned this earlier on in the trial, but... Hmm... I was working undercover in the restaurant in order to investigate another case. Ah, yes, that's right! The secret undercover operation! Oh man, this is gonna be another rabbit Look. hole, isn't it? Should we end this here? Uh, and save it for another time, because I'm getting a bit tired. How much, yeah, how much time do you got on the record? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon... It, this'll be a really short episode, like 20 minutes, but also, I am, like, so... feeling so wiped out. Well, the Carnival is a high-class Western restaurant, but I've taken the liberty of deciding that I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay. Let's, um, save real quick. Alright, so we're just gonna continue this in another recording? Or yeah, in another recording session. Here? Because I Alrighty. can't deal with it right now. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys right. in the next episode. Peace.